Increased industrialization has led to the greater production of the nitrogen and the sulfur oxides, resulting in the acid rain, which is damaging our environment. Rain is naturally acidic, so with a pH 5.6, because of the high production of the carbon dioxide by the living organisms. Carbon dioxide reacts in the atmosphere with the water with the production of weak carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can dissociate HCO3 minus plus H plus, so all of them will be aqueous. So here we can find that it is a weak acid. And the combustion of fossil fuels, internal car engines, uh, any industrial processes increase concentration, emission of the sulfur dioxide, nitrogen monoxide, sulfur trioxide and the nitrogen dioxide to the atmosphere. Naturally, sulfur dioxide in the air from uh, volcanoes emission and the nitrogen monoxide formed during the lightning storm by the reaction of the nitrogen with the oxygen. However, the high emission of these gases lead to the reaction with the water. Nitrogen dioxide react with the water with the formation of weak nitros and the strong nitric acid. And the sulfur dioxide react with the formation of weak sulfuros and the strong sulfuric acid. So these acids, they are strong and they will increase pH, acidity of the rain, of the water in the atmosphere. And this will lead to the wet depositions and this wet deposition, they will be acidic. Acid deposition will lead to the corrosion of the material, such as the limestone, marble. So we can write a couple of reactions here. So, for example, marble, carbon, calcium carbonate reaction of the sulfuric acid, for example. So here we will observe production of the calcium sulfate, water, and the carbon dioxide. The same will happen with the nitric acid because it's also strong acid. Also reaction with the strong acid here you will observe production of the calcium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. They are in the same way can react with the iron uh, lead to the rusting. We also can show reactions of ferrum plus nitric acid, for example. So we can put to here too. Will speed up rusting process and damage any materials. So the only way how we can solve this problem is an alternative source of energy. And uh, if we will discuss increase of pH of the lakes, it's a uh, addition maybe of calcium carbonate or calcium hydroxide to the lake. So it's open question, so we can discuss it. Let's solve a couple of the questions from the past papers. Thank you very much.